Hey quilters, it's Mary Ann from the world headquarters of Fontana Originals. Here I am in Delaware. Anyway, um, I am, um, as you know, an AccuQuilt designer now, so I, this, which is really exciting. I love the company, I love the dyes, I love the people. Anyway, I am working on the Bird and Birdhouse uh, applique dyes that was just launched. Now, this is not when it was just launched. This is probably a couple months ahead, but obviously I can't show it until then. So I wanted to give you an inside look into how I quilted it. I like to free motion quilt all my own quilt. I use a ruler now. And um, with all the different colors, I hate to have things stick out. So I decided for the very first time to use invisible thread. Only use monofilament polyester thread or mono poly. I thought it said monopoly and I couldn't figure out what monopoly had to do with the thread, but it's mono poly thread um, from Premier. And um, I also used a so fine Premier uh, 50 weight thread in the bobbin. You do have to uh, adjust your bobbin tension to like 180 and you have to put down your tension on your upper, probably like about 20% of what it is right, you know, 20% less than what it is right now. And I didn't figure this out. I looked it up. It was on the internet. I don't remember the name of the woman who gave me the tip, but she was brilliant. Exactly. I did exactly what she told me and it worked out amazingly. If I can ever find her, I'm going to go back and thank her because she was, it saved me so much time and aggravation. Anyway, I am long arm quilting with invisible thread and I'm about two thirds done and I wanted to show you my progress and the cute quilt that I'm working on. So I'm going to rearrange the camera and off we go. Okay, this is the quilt and I will, uh, at the end of the video, uh, show a picture of the finished piece. Uh, but I've quilted up to here and I've just moved the quilt up and I'm going to go down the side and just, you know, sew down the edge a little and then I'm just free motion quilting. So let's move a little closer. I was free motioning into the end here so I could do the edge. And that's what I try to do. And this has been an absolute dream to do. And as I said, I finally decided to use this invisible thread. I've never used it before, but I didn't want to keep changing colors. That's about as far as I can go. I didn't want to keep changing colors, uh, but I really wanted to quilt down the appliques because I did not embroider around the edges. These are all raw edge. And while they're raw edge, if I ever decide I want to wash them, you know, there's a chance if I don't wash it correctly, they could just maybe start to peel back a little. So I'm going to sew all over them as well. Here we go. And when I get to the birds, I just kind of lean around them. The trick I find in free motion quilting is to keep changing directions. So even if you keep doing the same pattern, it looks differently, you know, with the eye from different angles. So I've got to make sure. My one rule is I try not to ever go over the same stitching. Now, I don't always make it. Sometimes I break my own rules, but it's not on purpose. So you can see I'm just meandering around. And I don't know if you can see it on camera, but I'm trying to like quilt into this. It's kind of, I've left little spaces around so that I can make it not look obvious where I, you know, did the rows. So I think I'm gonna come down, work my way down and do a birdhouse. As I said, I kind of meander in that direction. And I'm going to finish this up. I don't like to have to come back because if I backtrack, I'm more likely to sew over something. I know I've done it enough times. All right, I'm getting close. You ready? I think I'm going to move the handle. How bad was it? Was it in the way the whole time? And I'm going to go over the 
Got him first. I guess it would be good if I move my scissors and my ruler. Okay. Now, this is fused on, so my needle got a little tacky before. And I used a, uh, let me show you. I used just a little cotton swab and I put rubbing alcohol in here and I can just dip it and I clean the needle off. Anytime you're working with an applique, that can happen. I'm really impressed <laughs> though the invisible thread is working so well. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the, uh, I just wanna make sure all the edges are down and I'm not really getting crazy on how I can do it. I just wanna, and I'm gonna go around the circle. And that's it. Oh, let's do the roof. And then I'll come back around. Oh, there's my rule. I'm almost going over stuff. Sometimes I stop talking because I think I'm getting stuck in a corner and I have to focus. Oh. But anyway, so here we go. Now we're going to come around and do the bird. Get that little eye. I change direction so it doesn't look as obvious how I'm doing it. And then it just kind of fills in. So look, what do you think? Huh? Let's get close if we can. I'm going to move the camera a little. So... I'm gonna pull this up. Okay, I'm happy. Cause you know what, it goes over it and where it's blue, there's stitches and the birds, but you don't see anything. You can't see my mistakes. I love it. I will post pictures of the final one. Happy quilting.